Make sure you like and subscribe to this video. Every time you do, for every like, Joe Biden will lose a brain cell. Come on, man. You know the thing. You know what I mean? You know the thing. You know what I mean? Rambo deer cart. I'll be testing it out today on the Rambo Crusader. So I'm going to fill my feeders one last time, and I thought, well, this would be a good opportunity to check out the the trailer here. It's a very expensive trailer, like $350 trailer. Um, kind of thought it'd be a good opportunity to test it out hauling some corn out. So I've got 150 pounds of corn I'm going to haul with this behind my Crusader, and I thought about like a deer, a big big deer around here. So uh, some pros about it. it, it does work like a regular hand cart, which is cool. So if you want to uh, use it like a hand cart, just, you know, hauling deer out without the bike, you do have it for that. Uh, you could obviously find cheaper options if that's all you were going to do with it. Um, some negatives about it. Um, the wheels, no matter how we've got them to line up, they don't perfectly, one of them anyway, has a little bit of a, a wobble to it. No matter how you put it on there, it's kind of a weird mounting system they've got. Instead of just having like an axle with some nuts and a tire, you know, and some washers, um, I think it's this one. You can see it a lot more when you're out from the side of it. One of them's got a wobble to it, and we just hadn't found a good way to fix that, if that's if that's even possible. It does fold up nice and small. Um, there's a little locking mechanism underneath here, right there, um, to lock it when you get it out, when you fold it out. So it's very lightweight. I don't know what it comes in at. Um, but it's it's plenty light for uh, like a deer cart or a cart to come in behind your trailer. These are inflatable tires, so that's that's good. I like that as opposed to just those solid rubber thin ones. Um, some improvements. It would have been really cool to have just like a little toolkit, little pouch or something on here, um, like sewn into this that you could strap down and, and have some inside there. Have like your your cleaning kit, your gut kit, and stuff on the card. I think that'd be cool. There's plenty of opportunities for places like that, whether it be on the other side of this or like on the inside of these, you know, on the little, little, little place for a pouch or something would have been cool. Have your gloves and gut and stuff in there. But anyway, they didn't. So uh, the way this will mount on, uh, they do have a fairly quick and easy way for this to mount on here. As soon as I say that, I won't be able to, to get it to work. All right. So basically, I can slide this over. Try to do this all with one hand. That thing will just line up with this. That's the little uh, extra attachment piece. Um, they've got a name for it, but it's just a little quick detach. That bolt will go through there. If I can line the holes up. And then this little nut will go on the other end. And, um, and that's basically it. You got a cart that falls behind. It hooks to the rack here. I think Quiet Cat hooks to like the axle or kind of down the right lower. Um, I don't know if that's better or worse. Um, I, I I can't really. You know, I don't know. I just I don't really like anything else being down here. But I think you are limited to what you can haul on this because the weight is all up high. If the weight was down the lower, it potentially could be a little little better. Um, but. I don't know. I mean, we'll see. We're going to put 150 pounds of corn on it and haul it out and see what it does. All right, we got the Crusader loaded. 150 pounds of corn. The cart's strapped over to the side. Ready to go see if we can uh, tow it around a little easier with this bike.
So far, so good. The bike doesn't even know that, that corn is on there. It's a rock star so far. I'm in level three. Corn down. This is the problem with this lock-on wheel system that they've come up with. If you cam it on, it's too tight. Doesn't spin good. If it's too loose, it'll come out. I think the good thing about it is, though, we don't have to have any tools to put it back on. Did something just go right? All right? We were doing good till the wheel fell off. And in that process, lost a bunch of that. So I guess we're back at it again. When you get going, they don't even realize it's back there. It does really good. Minus a wheel falling off. The bike, though, does a great job. We're not pulling 150 anymore, but uh, the bike does a great job. It pulled, when it had 150, it pulled 150, no problem. We've got at least 110 or 15 back there. So this trip's not going as planned. Fell in the water. So now I'm soaked. It's January and I'm soaked. And I dumped about 40 pounds of feed out. So, that's great. It's just going just great. So, I've unloaded all the corn riding back out with the cart on. I got a backpack on there just to keep the bags from flying off. Um, I did notice the battery drains much faster with the cart on and pulling that weight, obviously, like significantly faster. So something to keep in mind if you're going to be um, using one of these to haul stuff is you're going to use some battery, unfortunately. Um, but it does good when it works right. I can get through all this. There's a jungle in here. Uh, when it when you're on straight line and it doesn't the wheel doesn't come off, the bike the, the trailer does really good. I keep looking back there to make sure my backpack's still on it. Hoping not to throw itself off. Um, but it does pretty good. It's, it's smooth. You don't even really want to pop there. Okay, the, the weight's balanced good. You don't feel it like trying to pop you up. I kind of thought maybe I'd feel like I was being pulled up the whole time. And, uh, you know, it's, it's really well balanced. It rides smooth. 150 pounds was no problem to pull. Other than, like I said, the battery's going to be getting zapped. Um, and then, you know, the wheel, their wheel system, I don't like, uh, I don't understand it. I don't know. I guess they, if you wanted to pop those off for long travels, that's the idea. I don't, don't care for that. Um, if I can find a way to fix that where they're just a solid axle that doesn't come apart that easy, this quick disconnect system or whatever, uh, I would probably buy that. And then you don't have to worry about what I just went through, you know, which cost me a bag of corn. Um, but other than that, trailer did good. I kind of like it got to figure out the whole uh, the whole wheel situation but 
for $350, it's probably worth it. Catch it on sale, it's definitely worth it. So this is the quick disconnect wheel that I'm talking about. You just pop this cam over, this wheel comes off. So I guess it's good for transporting it if you needed to like break it down and then you pop it back on. Yes, fairly easy. Tighten it back up. Cam it back over. It's a little too tight. If you get it too tight, it won't spin. And too loose, it obviously falls off. That's the problem with this system. But it seems to be on good now. So hopefully it's just a one time issue. Three legs that 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 that, 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 that turn blonde in the sun. And the kids used to come up and reach in the pool and rub my leg down. So it's straight and then watch the hair come back up again. I learned about kids jumping on my lap.